Okay, so for the next condition that we're looking at, we'll be looking at the Olias disease. Olias disease is also known as what? Multiple echondromatosis. Multiple echondromatosis. I see that what? It's a condition that is first of all affecting the bones, then affecting the muscles. Okay? Multiple echondromatosis. So look at it from the causes, symptoms, characteristics, diagnosis, and treatment. Let's move quickly. We see that the Olias disease is also known as what? Multiple echondromatosis. It's a rare genetic disorder which is characterized by a growth of multiple echondromas. Okay? So it's basically what? Some benign cartilaginous tumors within the bones. Okay? So you're having what? Benign tumors within the bone. All right? Multiple echondromatosis. All right? So what are the causes and genetics? Um, it's, a, it's an autosomal dominant inherited pattern or disease, okay? So there's mutations in the PTHR1 gene, okay? So there's spontaneous mutations just like that, okay? So what are the symptoms? There's multiple pain or swellings or lumps on the hands, the feet, or long bones and all of that, okay? The skeletal deformity, we are having bowing and shortness. Can you see how short this person's leg are? All right, skeletal deformity. So there's limited joint mobility, there's pain and stiffness in the joint. There's increased risk of fractures because your bones will be weak. Okay, characteristics, of course, you see multiple echondromas, plenty. Okay, there are plenty. Okay. There's bone deformities and irregularities in the bone. There's asymmetric growth. There's increased risk of what? Malignant transformation, okay? Diagnosis, you use images, just like the way I have the images here. So x-rays, MRI, biopsy, genetic testing, all of this can help. Treatment is surgical. They can do surgical removal of tumors. They could do corrective what? Osteotomy, where they are doing the bone realignment. Then um, physical therapy, pain management, regular monitoring for malignant transformation, all of this can actually be helpful, right? So that's it for Olea's disease, also known as what? Multiple echondromatosis.